Moving to a new city is not an easy thing for anyone to do, but especially if in your early 20s, it can be incredibly scary. Coming from college, you have all of your close friends living nearby, then all of a sudden after graduation, you may find that you're all miles apart. It can be really shocking. I know firsthand how tough it can be making friends in a brand new city while also working full time. You know, shit gets real when you're juggling actual responsibilities like holding down a full time job and paying off your bills and your student debt. You have a lot less time. It makes it harder to form real relationships and get out and meet new people. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the ways to make new friends in a brand new place. To put it plainly, you can't make new friends if you don't ever meet new people. I'm telling you, get social. I think there's this big misconception with young people is that the only way to meet other people is at a bar. Not the case. You need to put yourself in places where you're actually gonna have meaningful conversations with other people. For example, you could join an intramural sports league, a book club, a professional network. There are so many other ways to you know, form relationships of substance. As you get older, it's really important to look for people that share similar life goals and values that you do. There's a very big chance in your 20s that you're gonna experience some big life moments like getting married, having a baby, buying your first home. When you meet somebody new and are considering maybe this person could be a really good friend, think about if you could see that person sharing in those life moments with you. When you're younger, I think it's a lot easier to bond with people on surface level things, but when you're older and you have less time to devote to friendship, it's important to think about what new people you're bringing into your life. Just because you may not have clicked with a classmate or a coworker when you were in school together or working at the same company doesn't mean that they couldn't be a good friend later on in life. It's funny how I've actually reconnected with a lot of people I went to college with, all because we just now live in the same city. And the same goes with your coworkers too. It can be a little awkward being friends with people you work with. I mean, you spend all day together, you're competing for promotions, there's a company hierarchy, but if one of you leaves to go to a new company, it can be great to reconnect. You never know what your dynamic could be like outside of the office. If your BFF has been your ride or die since childhood, or if you've been with your boyfriend for almost a decade like me, trust those people's opinions. They're the ones who know you the best. Obviously, they've done something right to be worthy of having a relationship with you for that long, so listen to those people. Sometimes we put up blinders when we meet someone new. We look at them with rose-colored glasses, but the ones that love us the most can sometimes see situations and help us see them more clearly. So trust the people that you love, especially when it comes to new people that you're bringing into your life. It's completely natural for people to change and evolve. As you get older, your goals become clearer and you have different priorities. What was important to you at age 21 could be completely different at age 26 or 27. At least I would hope it would be. If you find that you have a friend where you're the one who, who's making all the effort, where you're the one going out of your way to plan everything with that person, isn't that the worst? I hate that, that makes me so angry. But you can cut that person out, I'm serious. You don't need to be friends with that person anymore, especially if they're not bringing any value to your life. And if you find that you don't have a lot in common with someone anymore, it's okay. Sometimes when one person leaves your life, it opens up the door for somebody new to come in. That's what I've personally found. Well, there you have it. Those are my top tips for making new friends and forming real relationships in a new place or a new city. I feel like I missed my calling for being like a life counselor or a relationship coach. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button up here, wherever it is. And I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Let me know if you have any ideas for videos. And with that said, I will see you all next time. Bye.